everybody! <laughs> I'm so not ready for today. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> I've been trying so hard not to think about how this game is gonna end. So hard! So hard! I just... I just... Mm, I'm emotional. <laughs> and nothing's even happened, man. Ugh. We have two more side quests, and then it's D-Day, and then we go finish the game, and I know that everyone is going to live happily ever after. I, I just know that that's exactly what's going to happen. Whoa! So I can't stick around as you're ahead of me. Just wanted to say how much I have been loving your let's play of FF16. Oh, what I the can't fuck? wait to check out more of your playthroughs. I wish you the best and take care. What the fuck? That's so nice. Cassaway, Cassaway, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. That is so kind. Thank you. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that you're enjoying the playthrough. That's so sweet. Ah. Uh, I've had a I've honestly had a really like, nice time with this game and streaming it and, uh, playing it. It's been an incredible, incredible experience. Probably one of my favorites in, in the past year, I'd say. It's just, it's felt so special. I don't know why. I don't know what about this game makes it feel very special, but it does. <sighs> oh my god, have I got the wine ready? No, I don't! Thank you so much for reminding me! I need to get my wine! Oh god, maybe you guys can help me choose a bottle of wine to open. Alright, I have a few. Uh, let me bring you options and you choose the bottle. <laughs> I'm gonna need wine, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Hold up! I have six, but I have four right here. Okay, so you guys gotta choose a good one. Okay, I'll just go get the other two. I might as well. These are literally all red except for one white. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh... Sad wine time, yeah. Aw, <laughs> thank you, Tiki. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a classic white... Uh, Sauvignon. A white. Sauvignon! Alright, and then for the reds, we have... This is Italy. Actually, it doesn't say anything but Italy and Rosso Grande. All right, so you got your your Il Italy wine here, 2021. All right, mix them all. Do you, have you ever drank wine before? <laughs> all right, but now we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. 2020. All right, this one. Ooh. I just like the- sorry, I like the message on this one. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I think it came from some farm directly. Uh, uh, life is <laughs> uh, life is too short not to drink local. Crafted from Ontario grown grapes. Yeah, this is definitely a local one. This is cute. I wish I knew where I got this. Uh, <laughs> it's so sweet! Make this smooth red your main squeeze when friends gather and keep it by your side for cottage weekends and family dinners. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cu Like, the, the, <laughs> the panel is so cute. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea what it is. But I'm sure it's great. I, I, I'm not picky with wine. I drink anything. Uh, oh, you got a Zinfandel. I do like Zinfandels. 
This is a what year? 2020. So you got a 2020 uh, Zinfandel. Cottage core wine. Okay, okay. And another Cabernet, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this is year. What? How do you have wine but not have the year on it? 2022. Okay, there we go. That's so weird. This is huge. This is a ginormous bottle, though. <laughs> Cottage core wine. <laughs> it's a wild name, yeah. Uh. Okay, yeah, well, I, I don't mind. I'm not really that picky. So yeah, two of these are Cabernet Sauvignons. I can get rid of those. This is also a, a Sauvignon, but a white one. So we're down to the Zinfandel, the Italy mystery one, or this like homemade really cute one. <laughs> so you guys choose. So we got, I don't know, in Italy, what year? 2021, Italy 2021, Zinfandel 2020 or local squeeze red. It just said it just says local squeeze red. So yeah, these are our three options today. I'm going to need one for the game, I'm sure. It probably is just a red blend. I'm going to like it no matter what. Oh, if you want to do a pull, you can. It's up to you. I don't think we need to. Italy mystery sounds interesting. Yeah, the Italy mystery sounds interesting. I don't have a preference, actually. <laughs> I, I I will drink. Oh my god! Just to note, this uh, like this local one. The top of it has a, a hat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Oh, there it is. A hat. <laughs> Such a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the local. It has a hat on it. And then you have the Italy mystery one. And the Zinfandel. Oh, you know nothing about wine? Choose whatever one sounds cool. <laughs> you don't need to know stuff about wine. Wine is all the same. You just drink it. <laughs> I give really good advice, I swear. While that poll's running, let me put the Sauvignons back. We did uh, all the side quests. I have two left. I have two side quests left to do today, and then they will be done. And then we were going to do the end of the game. Oh. All right, the local wine. Our local wine's winning. Sounds good. I will be right back. Italy loses. It's okay. It'll be around later.
Okay. I had to get my chalice too. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I really want to try it. Let me do it like a taste test, but I'm not drinking until I need it later. I just know that we're going to need it later, you know? So just a little taste test. Oh! Good shit. Is that Majima in the back? Yeah, he's just judging you. <laughs> huh, I really like that, actually. It's right in the middle of, like, sweet and dry. I don't know how they did that. It's, like, directly in the middle. Sid would approve? Aw, you can't say that. Oh, I guess Majima's, like, a little bit too peaked out. Hold on. There, it backed him up a little bit. You'll name it the Cottage Core Wine in honor of this stream. <laughs> good, good, good. That's a very good wine. I am looking forward to drinking that later. All right. Well, the good thing is I have the wine ready. <laughs> We're definitely going to need it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be okay. Uh. Majima's been dead for a while. He's not dead. Look, he's look he looks better than ever. What do you mean? Uh. Excited for Otakuthon next month. Yes. I am. <laughs> I want to say stuff, but I can't. Um, yes, I'm very excited for Otakuthon. Just know that, um... There will be announcements soon. Um, I'm just excited. <clears throat> but hi, everybody. Also, welcome to the stream, Navi. <laughs> welcome. I am not ready for the end of the game, but I feel like I just need to, like, do it. I, I just need to, like, freaking... Ugh. I just need to rip off the band-aid and just get started today, because it's not gonna get any better. Like, my anticipation for this ending is gonna... Mm. <sighs> but you guys, I, um... Tion told me this morning that they... changed the motion graphics, I think? Of uh, blur. Not graphics, blur. Uh, where? Let me see if I can hunt it down. Camera sensitivity. Motion blur! Huh? So if I like, let's just say one. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, oh my God. I think I just saw the light. Why couldn't I have the whole game like that? Yes. No blur. Just Do you think they'll come back? no blur. Of course they will. That's it's so much easier on the story. eyes. How hard could it be? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for adding that square. I already beat the game. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Better late than never. Even though, yeah, this is my last day playing. It's, it's fine. Wait, Alan, you can actually... You beat the game yesterday. You beat it? So you can actually watch the finale stream? Holy shit! <gasps> Alan can be here! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so we got two quests in here. These are the last two that we have. Uh, we're gonna save Jill for the very last. In search of a lost tome. Let's go. These shouldn't take too long. Maybe an hour max and then we can get to our finale. All right, reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in the personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and it was a chance encounter with one such tome from a distance that sparked within me this scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, know that I am willing to offer compensation for services rendered. I don't think we've ever had a Vivian quest before. That's interesting. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. 
Oh my god, Alan, I feel so bad. You tried so hard. <sighs> well, we don't even know if this game is getting DLC, really. I would... I don't know, actually. I guess... We can assume... Or not, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I, the way I envision this is like, I I envision a world where Yoshi P is tired. He just wants to go back to work on FF14. <laughs> and he just doesn't want to do anymore. <laughs> he, he's like done with 16. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy, I'm sure. Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight. Yeah, Vivian Quest. That's awesome. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke yeah. to Hippocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me. I really want to make Vivian's coat for myself. You, but this book, that is all of my aesthetic. I love it. Who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Oh. Uh, whom's Berneroy, thank you so much for the eight months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes or else. speedrunning scene? Is there even going to be a speedrunning scene with this game? I actually don't know how much you can actually speedrun. I feel like JRPGs in general are just such an awkward thing to try to speedrun. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. And you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from Oh, Yoshi P would be willing to? Oh. You've been talking But it depends on how this game ends. Right, as always. It depends on how this she game ends. Because I think I would rather much. have, like, a sequel to the I game like than a DLC for say. the game. And yet I Both would be cool, but I am very invested in this story. And I would love more of anything. I've but I think I would rather a sequel. But I don't know how this game is going to end. It depends on how much openness there is in the ending. the impossible. We're gonna the see today. Would not allow it. The executors. Coveters of secrets. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. And my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. From ash. Rumors uh. of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less ash so. Ash sucks. The I don't want to come back there. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend. 
in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes, upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. Hmm. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. <sighs> well, we're on our way there now, Clive. Let's go. Back to the ash. It's like the happiest place on the earth. By the way, I did all the hunts last night and I did the Behemoth King and holy fuck. I still did it, but holy fuck that fight was insane. Why y'all hating on Ash? Because there's no living being here. <laughs> It's all just enemy territory. There's no humans left. They just suck. Every, every, everything here sucks. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would a bookworm live in? Like, oh, look at this town. There's probably peepee -pee here. No, because Ash sucks. There's nobody that lives here. Everybody's dead. This is the house we were in before. No, it's a different one. Wait, no. It... Oh, no, it is, it is a different one. Oh. Complete botany of Banes. Tale of Wyvern, white of flower, black of root. Is this like recipe? In honor of the heathen, their heathen gods? What? Should a slip of a needle end a young warrior's life, it is said that his skin print failed to find favor among the heavens. Uh. <laughs> the folklorist fabulary. The Moogle! No spirit or sprite appears more often in Valisthean folktales than the humble Moogle. Though they are occasionally painted as mischievous souls akin to pixies or imps, most stories depict them as clumsy yet congenial spirits who delight in helping mankind with their daily labors. They are said to have sweet tooths. Oh my god, this is huge. Leading to the common superstition that one must not leave cakes or other sweet meats uncovered overnight, lest not remain but crumbs come morning. In appearance, they are described as being covered head to toe in soft white fur, Except, excepting the small dark wings by which they are somehow able to take flight and the brightly colored pom-poms that protrude from the tops of their heads. And yet, there is one detail regarding the Moogle that most find more remarkable than even the orb that tops its brow. The fact that the creatures actually exist. Preposterous, I hear you cry. Everybody knows that Moogles are the stuff of legend. I quite agree, but every legend has its basis in truth, and in the case of the Moogle, the fact may be so dissimilar to the fiction. Ancient bestiaries list the white mole whose feet do not touch the ground among the beasts of the realm, and the illustri illustration beside the name, why, it is none other than the Moogle. Of course, it is true that the creatures are not known to still survive in the twins in the modern day. Perhaps their miniature wings carry them to other climes? Perhaps... They were hunted to extinction, or perhaps, just perhaps, they do still live among us. Hidden away, far from view. <gasps> His interests were certainly varied. Ooh. Ah. Chapter 16, The Fall of the Bearers. <laughs> That's Final Fantasy 16. <clears throat> the emergence of the first magic adepts was widely heralded as a gift from the gods. The title for with which the those with the gift came to be commonly known is a most likely a contraction of bearer of the heavenly blessing. 
the words used by the tribunes of the time. Those born with the blessing were lauded as living crystals and granted high office and, plent and plentiful reward for their status as chosen ones. Over the years, this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by the bearers themselves, a development that would prove fateful. The, di the divers nations of the time were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church. While the authorities had for years welcomed bearers into positions of power in their own structures of state, they were mistrusting of an organization led by, led by bearers for bearers. Efforts were immediately made to chasten the church and its followers, banning members from holding office and evicting adherents from their homes and breaking up meeting by force. The church responded by forcing a volunteer army to resist this per persecution, and yet it continued creating a cycle of ever-increasing bloodshed and rancor, and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without. What began with beatings and street clashes would eventually spill over into an all-out war that consumed the greater part of the twins for nigh a generation, and decimated the population of men and bearers both. The deluge of blood that stained the land crimson and left an even more plastic mark upon the minds of the Valisane people. After the bearers' last resistance was crushed, the nations of Alisea came together to sign the Continental Accord that initiated the system of slavery that persists across the realm to this day. Its well-known phrase, bearers are other, hum other than human, has its roots in the bitter war of the years before, being the unblessed, unblessed only excuse for their calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own destinies. This is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Wow. Things have really turned around and gone to shit over time. <sighs> Royal Intelligence or Training Report. Holy shit. Bears used to be worshipped, and then the people were like, Fuck no! Leaving so soon, stranger. What? There's a person? Watching you. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. <laughs> I know who you are. And we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. This is like the only living person. Oh, two people. Three, four people, five people. Let's see, shall we? We're just killing everybody so that we make sure that no humans are left. Ah, this is good. In my wallowed? Oh, no. We can't have that. Oh my god, look at the phoenix beam. <laughs> Perfect timing, Joshua. Perfect timing. satisfying Ooh. Zen Tetsuken for the kill 
<clears throat> Fate! Fate or N, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I really appreciate the support. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe mm. that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. What do you mean we shall Until meet then. again? This is like my second Wait. to last quest. Damn it. Don't say that. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. I literally have two more quests. You mean to tell me? <laughs> okay. this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something, that the truth is just a matter of collective belief, and that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable that it can be changed, provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did, or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see, a firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? But you're not... one of us. Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. I don't envy her. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. 
in looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. Aww. I'm glad we got a Vivian, a little Vivian quest there. I don't think, I think that's the only quest we ever get with her. And that was a good one. <sighs> I have 400,000 gil. What am I doing with my life? The scholar's bonnet. Huh. Oh. <laughs> no, another hunt too? Oh, you piece of shit. Jill's gonna have to wait. Master Clive, I am aware that, our, that there are matters of much greater important import which demand your attention, but should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask a single favor concerning <gasps> His Highness Prince Dion? <laughs> okay! Wait a sec! Okay, okay! It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. Maybe I should do Jill quest now and save Dion for last. <laughs> um, I'm going to do exactly that. All right, Jill. <laughs> Concern for Jill. Uh, though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart, and we would be poor friends indeed if we did if we not seek to enlighten that burden. Even but only a fraction before we depart for the skies. I would speak on this more in private. Joshua! That is so sweet! If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak Joshua is worried about Jill more than we are. <laughs> I didn't actually think there was going to be a Dion quest. Holy shit, if there is, I'm going to cry. I mean... Uh, says it's about Dion. Okay, I was previously very mad and upset that there was another side quest that popped up to get in my way of the finale, but I'm no longer upset. Joshua, I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. Aww. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied father on his annual tour of the duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. Aww. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> a thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us. And needless to say... <laughs> He was none too pleased. And then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. 
What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Mm. True. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? The Joshua Riz is showing. <laughs> what would we do without Joshua, man? <laughs> He's the best. This is the place, but <laughs> Joshua Rizfield. <laughs> yeah, he's not nearly as dense as Clive. There's no weapons, bird. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. You, of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway, then. Fine. <sighs> Me too. I thought Joshua... I didn't think that Joshua was going to be that prevalent in the main story after the beginning of the game. Like, even whenever we knew that he was That's alive... The gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Like, even whenever we found out that he was alive, I didn't think that he was going to be this much with us. I thought he was going to more so staying in his own lane and doing his own thing that he was doing with Yote for a long time. I thought he was just going to keep doing that largely till the end of the game. I'm really glad that they eventually just, you know, come together. The bros. brings you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Thank you, gardener. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, oh, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. <laughs> Subverting tropes in 16. Yeah. That's one way to put it. I, uh, I don't know. I know I keep saying the same thing, but I just appreciate how mature and natural that this game feels in general. It's just something I've been craving overall with... A fucking RPG. See anything you like? You've a keen eye. I need to spend my money somehow. Got any more of those? All right, so we need to go out the other exit. Okay. Special elixirs. And now I help the garrison today. Even their dad is a giga, giga chad. Elwin is absolutely a giga chad. It runs in the family. Man, I love this little town so much. Look how much nicer things are whenever I pan around without freaking so motion blur making me dizzy to do so.
Do be careful. I will. Come on. Faster. They actually talk to each other? Yeah, they do. Hey, Josh. Have care. Someone's brave. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. Oh, I'm guessing those are it straight ahead. Right as they patched in the motion blur. Oh no! I just burned the daisies, by the way. Oh. Torgal says we aren't done. Let's hope this is the last one. I was on the wrong to. Okay. Help me, boy. You. It really took me a lot. Holy shit. It was just making me unnecessarily dizzy. I think that was the main thing. What do you mean, new enemies approach? Bro? with Zentetsuka. I, I didn't, I didn't want to. I guess I should just, okay. I should not hold R2 for that. Farewell. Okay, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I definitely get a lot less sick now, which is amazing. I expected. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? Of course she will. She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. <laughs> we wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Wow, Joshua. Damn, dude. The wingman. <laughs> He's such a good wingman. What the fuck? I have the best bro. Truly. All right. 
I'm ready to make Jill the happiest woman on this earth. Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? <laughs> oh, yeah, quite literally the wingman, uh, exactly. Not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? We're going on a date. There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been He's not even you. looking at her. Joshua and I. You remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... Oh. Try to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn. I mean, that's also very common for this kind of like a medieval setting. Trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be alright. I'll never forget that feeling. Aww. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over? That's a question. I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. And 
extra kiss for me? Oh. I never was much good at garlands. But it'll have to do. <laughs> I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive. For this. The flowers. Uh, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is, that singular line is more precious than any kiss would ever be. <laughs> oh my god, that is absolutely precious. <laughs> We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. <laughs> Shiva's kiss. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I figured Jill would join the party after that. Well, that's awkward. One more quest. <laughs> oh, man. That was so good. Okay, but the thing is, I know that we made her feel better in that way, but at the same time, I think the point... I thought the point of it was to make her feel better in combat, too. Because she feels worthless without Shiva. But I know that made her feel better in other in other ways. I just don't know how that would exactly translate in a combat setting, though. <clears throat> okay. Clive, it occurs to me that a single word of thanks does not nearly suffice to express my gratitude for reuniting me with uh, reuniting me with from a distance. The tome made me who I am today, and yet I thought that I should never set eyes upon it again that those who took it from me had forever robbed me of a part of myself. But now I am whole again, thanks to you. I regret that I can only fill in the gaps in your knowledge and not the holes in your soul, for which reason I shall ever be in your debt. Oh. <laughs> the greatest gift. It feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. That afternoon on Man's Hill was our very first adventure, but somehow I knew even then that it would not be our last. I will never forget that day and the simple fact that you have not either, not either fills, uh, oh yeah, th that you haven't either fills my heart with a joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Since the moment that we first met, you have always been an important part of me, the half that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light, and when I am lost, you are my guiding star. You are just what I need. You are all that I need. You are the greatest gift. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry? Girl, what'd you just write to me? Clive, do you have a moment? Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Oh, we're not done. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so... I made you this instead. Black is the color of eternity. It cannot be stained. It cannot be sullied. It is unchanging, unwavering, just like your resolve. And mine. Our resolve. May it never diminish. 
and may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. What is it, Clive? You can always tell me. Hmm. For so long. So when this is over... Mm. My memories with you are the precious of all! I'm with you, Clive. Ah! <laughs> I'm out! I'm done! <laughs> One more goddamn quest with Dion. Uh. Shit. <sighs> well, I guess it's not with Dion, about Dion. I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. <laughs> You spoke of making amends with Dion, but I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. Huh? This was some years ago, of course, before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam, and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education, all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, Everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government. Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons. His studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. <laughs> I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. Mm. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations. That weighed heavily upon him and i did nothing to ease that burden he bore it alone until the day he could not bear it any longer it is one of my greatest regrets that i only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship the blame for dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders but on mine i see I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tail. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and fraudsters all, of course. But there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? And how will I know it? You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. The lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the colour. There is a waterfall in Rickmal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But... Try as I might, I can find no likelier location. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. 
I really hope that uh, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I don't want him to feel guilt. He's gonna regardless. Put a flower behind his ear. <laughs> yeah, this game does make me feel a lot of things. I have a feeling the resolution of this quest is really going to make me cry. Because it depends on how Dion takes it. I... Just a regular chest. <laughs> the honest Terrence. He pushed Terrence away. Well, we don't even know if that's gonna be a happy ending. I don't. I honestly don't have my hopes up for that being a happy ending either. Oh, there's the waterfall. I mean, I want him to have a happy ending. I just don't see it. It's hard to envision when he's so broken right now. And like the moment I, d I don't know. Like, I have faith in him to control Bahamut. I do. But I don't know if that's, uh... I don't know. Osman, Fuck. I found the flowers you were looking for. I don't you know. You did? I think I did. <sighs> you did indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Shall I invite him to join us? Oh, uh, I don't... It's no trouble. I'll go and fetch him. Can we not? <laughs> Highness, 
Would you do me the honor of accompanying me? Now. The time, then. <laughs> no. Only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No. I dare not show my face before him. My god, is there like everything I have done? Oh my god, he feels guilty about that too. Jesus Christ. Everything. I have taken there is no inkling of his life that he doesn't feel guilt over. This is awful. And ruined countless more. <sighs> All because I was weak. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again and see in his eyes what I have become. I fear my resolve might falter. And that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. You are right. I must at the very least offer him my gratitude. Very well then. Take me to him. Follow me. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. Look at just, oh my god, what the guilt is just written in his face. You'd be surprised. It's painful to watch. To Harpocrates. He can't even look him in the well, eye. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. <sighs> your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Is that a wyvern tale? Color is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Oh. Something in the harsh environments in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, Your Highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Oh. Master Harpocrates. I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift. Until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm. For only then shall I be deserving of it. Come on! As you wish, Your Highness. 
I'm gonna punch him. I shall await I'm your gonna return. sock you in the face. Clive, stop him, please. Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. For reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. Okay, but sweetie, you're not indebted to me like you feel like with everything. Oh my god, how do you function as a goddamn human being? Thank you, Clive. Were it not for you, I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him. Not to mention the wyvern tales. I shall plant their seeds, that I might not disappoint His Highness upon his return. I hope the soil in the hideaway is to their liking. Why, these flowers bloomed in the bleak, black wastes of Walloon. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. When it comes to expressing one's gratitude, I find that words are seldom sufficient. Here. What's this? A stolas quill. Or more precisely, my stolas quill. Chris it is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So consider this my wish for you that one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen well when that day comes <sighs> I'll certainly have a lot to write about thank you Harpocrates it shall have pride of place in my chamber That quest was ass. I'm quitting. Muhammad's mercy. Fuck off. It kills me so much. I, I I just hate having characters that you see yourself in so much. A Dion right now for me is like looking at a goddamn mirror. It's like a reflection of myself of like five years ago. When you feel the need to do something or like... The feeling... <sighs> the feeling like you need to earn everybody's love and please every single person and be indebted. Like if somebody does something a small for you and you need to give it back tenfold like it's not it's not healthy to live the way he does and i used to live like that I, like like the feeling that you will never like nothing you ever do will be good enough he has the weight of his people the weight of killing his father that he genuinely loved so much and he just wanted the best for it. He has so much weight to carry and he just feels indebted and guilt. It's so bad. <sighs> Great, that's my last side quest. You piece of shit. Ifrit. Your resolve didn't falter. 
No. Though I continue to be bewildered by fate, that I should meet with my old tutor here, at the very end of the world. I thank you, with all my heart, for giving me this chance. And I thank you for taking it. I should like to look upon that flower once more. When I am worthy. He thinks he's not already. Like, bro, you are fine the way you are. I stand ready to leave for Origin at your word. May Grieger go with us. And see us safely home. Courage, Ifrit. <sighs> Alas. Bitch! Uh, did he look disappointed to you? And yet... I'm doing the main plot. Let's fucking go to Origin. God damn, I cannot handle this. I'm saving my game and we're going. <sighs> Did all the stupid goddamn side quests. Let's go. If you see my dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> Don't say that shit. Tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Aww. Well, behave yourself, Mid. <laughs> no crying. We'll Oh. <laughs> Dion needs a hug too. <laughs> Dudes act like he's never gotten any other hug besides from Terrence in his goddamn life. I think it just showed. <laughs> so, you're in charge now, Gav. He's definitely not hugged anyone else. That. Holy fuck. Come back before she finds out, eh? Stop crying. Thank you, Yote. I'm sorry. Your grace, I shall pray for your safe return. <sighs> That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. Yeah, he what's Taria said? Finding herbs for his lordship to lead them on his nightstand again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Taya. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece, or at most two. At Any most two. You can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before. So just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. 
Darauf. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. Oh, and Torgal. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Bring, please. Don't forget, Clyde. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I know. She's gonna say it back when he I comes love back. You too. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <gasps> A right leaning kiss. Hell yeah. They're here? Oh. <sighs> All of these characters are so great. I love this goddamn game. No. We have a god to kill. In true JRPG fashion. Okay. <laughs> well, that was my main worry. I wasn't sure how bomb it was going to go. It's fine. Okay. Theon's fine. Dude, this dude is just so built different. How in the fuck, dude? I love you so much. Uh, they 
these scenes are so pretty. is origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our ark. Your architect. <laughs> there you are. It was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. Come. And now we shall be truly complete. Sikkim. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit.
and end what? Giga Flare. Mega Flare. Let's go. bet that did nothing. Thwarted? What does that mean? Ultima Prime thwarted? He's not slain. And you only surrendered. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. No, no, no. 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 No, no. 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 He's fine. Clive. He's fine. Clive. No. He's fine. Clive's definitely fine. Yeah. I'm not worried about you. But Dion's okay.
Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. No, oh, I'll be all right. Dion. Thanks, Joshua. Uh, Dion's fine. He's fine. My hand. No, I told you, I'll be. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Thank you. Everybody's fine. Dion's, on. Dion's just Always. sleeping on a ground somewhere. And Joshua, Joshua's every everybody's gonna be fine. Oh, Dion's fine! Please. He did what he had to do. Shut the Last fuck up! Last time we did the same. <coughs> Should we stop? Not because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. Only self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone. Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... Thus, 
would they labor still, long after their work was done, had you not set them free? You meant for us to destroy the Mother Crystals. It's what you wanted all along. You have our gratitude, Muthos. In this you have served us well. You have both served us well. Welcome home, brother. theirs that grew stronger. Oh, holy shit. That's healthy, right? Everybody's fine. And now we can become one. flames of the phoenix this i once believed would be ultima's true form but i was wrong shut up i see it now why you will never become ultima's vessel i don't care just hold on oh listen to me Clive. voice crack you remember the murals People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pull was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! <laughs> don't, don't do it, you're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will go. <laughs> I have always been proud to 
it for being my brother. Even now, you would deny the inevitable. tissue, I swear. Where's my tissue? Oh, I moved my tissue. I haven't ugly cried like that in a long ass time, man. Oh, it's always so awkward to cry in front of people. I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh. Oof. Oh 
come on. I don't want a round two bullshit. No. <sighs> Okay, I don't... God. <laughs> my, my brain is riling up for a round two of crying. I need to play. to laugh. Unexpected. Um, How is it that your will yet endures? Because it's not so easily broken. But it can be broken. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. Try it. does. I sense more here than mere will. Is this no cost? Have you truly become free? No. <sighs> I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. Filthy rats. I created you, all of you. And what is mine is mine to destroy. Oh, that's once perhaps. Huh? But we are no longer yours. We our flames are our own, yeah. and they burn as one. Oh, I have to push buttons.
to drink so much more right now. I'm close enough to him for that attack. Fuck, I just wasted it. Oops. Yeah. I'm not good at controlling my spit. Spit, do the 
trick. I spin on him for the win. Take that. How does it feel to die by a spit? the blight exposed what you were weak you conceived us to prove otherwise Damn. but the results shook you to the core for in us you saw yourself and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be and so you turned your back on your creation your back on the world like the coward you are you think you know me you know nothing logos pick a name nothing. for me first i'm mythos and then i'm logos <laughs> I'm the man with many names. Second glass of wine, let's go. Hey. I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. <laughs> we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Yeah, I played this whole game and it was like all suffering. Bitch knows nothing. Wait, he's out of- Wait, what? That didn't do anything. This is so boring. Wait, is he? Oh, that's the worst when you waste judgment. Uh, I didn't know.
my turn! You pray! Mine are the eyes that look down upon you all! Limit break. And yet still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. We are not the same! Please, Shiva, hit. Okay.
Come on, baby. Give it to me. I don't think so. Close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, finish it off with Zentetskin. Come on, come on. Just hold. Go, go, go! those below you chose to remain alone and so you shunned the one thing that could have made you stronger pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher i do not need you you are anyone and that is where we are different i could not have made it here on my own Carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. Now this is the type of JRPG bullshit that I love so much. I have the power of God and friendship and anime on my side. And if that ain't JRPG, I don't know what is, bro! I live for it! Finish him with Shiva. Let's go. It's a final fantasy! And we shall be its final witness. No! It's over. Oh, I have to press square to punch him in the face. I'm going to do this exact same thing to Dion when he wakes up. It is at this time that I probably should mute alerts for the ending. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Jesus. I've cried so much already. I don't know if I can cry more. I feel like my face is so... Uh, dry is a weird word. Like, I, I feel like I have no more tears left in my eyeballs. Tell me, what do you imagine will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom? I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon, ever out of reach, and still we march on. 
Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk. Hmm. I didn't need that shot. I really didn't. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh! Did I press a button? Oh shit! Fuck. So sorry. It's okay, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh god. Can't cry anymore. I can't. The wig. <sighs> Even more baby, literal baby. God, that baby looks so cursed. I'm so sorry, Joshua. You look cursed as fuck.
gonna do this. I ain't gonna do this. Stop. <laughs> do that. You can't. It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. But while I have it, perhaps I can use it to set things right and see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, Magic consigned to the flames. <sighs> Even if it means the end of me. So the medic is sending girls okay, right? And Terrence? And Dion? Right? Give it up for Ben Starr! Holy shit, bro. Holy fuckeroni. Oh. I am baffled by the voice acting and acting, not just voice acting in this game. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's 
sky of scattered <laughs> They both wanted. Stop! Uh, holy shit! <laughs> Fuck!
I'm trying so hard to be okay. Okay. I hate crying on stream so much. My level of self-conscious is so fucking high. I'm so sorry. Um. Uh. uh hi. The second thing is that... Uh, I hate crying on stream. I'm sorry again. Jesus, I just said that. Drink. That's fine. Shit. <sighs> I feel like a pathetic little bitch. Wait, that's the Black Knight theme! Who the fuck is donating? <sighs> Thank you so much! Oh my god, I don't deserve your donation. Thank you! A smile better suits a hero, Crystal. Congrats on finishing Voxview. I am a fucking mad! <sighs> Pull it together! Shit, I'm trying so hard to pull it together. And thank you so much for donating to my ass. I, shit, fuck. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, I didn't get to my second thing. I don't think it's gonna work, but the second thought in my head is just cut Clive's, uh, Clive, Clive, Clive. He has a name and his name is Clive. Cut his arm off. I'm sure that it'll it'll stop spreading if you just cut it off, right? That's logical, right? Just you just have just have no arm. Just just cut off the arm and he's fine. Just just you just chop it. You don't need an arm. As long as you got one, you're fine. Just just, just fuck it. Ugh. Exactly, thank you. I haven't read like a single chat message in a long time, I'm sorry. That's the first one I read. Thank you. Uh, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna mute and let out a nice scream and scare all of my goddamn neighbors. Okay, I did. <sighs> that felt so good. Okay, we're we're good. Alerts muted. I can thank everybody right now as a good distraction. Distraction, let's go. Yaba, thank you so much for the thousand bits. What the ash cheek? Decoy, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Crafter, thank you for the hundred bits. North, thank you for the six month prime sub. Kev, thank you for the three months. Great Deku Tree, thank you so much for the three month resub. Boba, thank you so much for the 69 months. Uh, Miles, thank you so much for the 25 months. Whoever donated money jesus thank you uh, uh, i think i'm gonna write a petition after this game who the hell is gifting 50 subs what is your problem shit what the hell Seriously. 
It's all good. Uh, thank you so much for gifting 50 subs, dude. Seriously. What the hell? Thank you. It's way too kind. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. Thank you for the five anonymous gift subs. My God, you guys are gonna make me cry more. Emblem. Stop, Jesus. I'm just huge. That's not an emblem thing. Uh, I'm just huge. <laughs> I'm so emotional! Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! So <sighs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just here. Gifting five subs, um, Salas, I appreciate it. Shit, I can't even hold the tissue in my hand. Seriously, this this game takes the record for making me cry the most in the most amount of times. Holy shit! I thought it was Persona Five Royal that was gonna take the cream of the crop, man, but no. Oh my god. <laughs> What is your problem? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um Sidewinder for gifting 20 subs, and I, I really do appreciate it. I'm so sorry. Ah. I've been trying to cry less <laughs> for like 10 minutes straight. I think this stream might go in the record books for like the amount of times that I've cried, how hard I've cried, and then the amount of times to which I've sworn. <laughs> I think I've sworn uh, so many times in this stream compared to every other stream in my life. <laughs> Shit, just fuck. Alright, let's get into the nitty gritty here though. Because I, I have thoughts. Um, I have thoughts. Um, Shit. Three thoughts. One, Yoshi P should never direct another game ever fucking again. Yoshi P needs to be cancelled. The hell, I cannot. I I think I, I'm gonna start a petition to like cancel Yoshi P. I'm so done with his bullshit. Ugh. A second thing. literally so exhausted. The second thing is that, um... Music, you need to chill. <sighs> chill, oh, chill music. Oh my god, y'all are being so supportive. Stop, what the hell? I'm just here. Thank you for gifting ten, mu ten subs, I really appreciate it. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just- I, I, Like, seriously, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think because of Final Fantasy 16, I might have to stop playing FF14 forever. You know what? I might stop loving Dragoons in general just forever. Dragoons have always been my favorite character in, like, any goddamn Final Fantasy game. But I am done! I am so fucking done after this video game. I loved- 
Freya in 9, and I loved Estinian so much, and I loved Dion with all my fucking heart, and I'm just so done with Dragoons and their bullshit. I'm so done. Like, I'm just, I, I, I vow from like here on out, that I'm just never gonna love a good Dragoon ever again. Like this, I can't. This, this, everything is like destroying my fucking soul. I can't. Shit. Just so done. So many. I just. Uh, yeah. Just fuck dragoons. They're the worst. I hate them so much. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> How many tissues have I gone through this fucking stream? I want it. I want it to be done. Okay, okay, but I, I'm being sarcastic a lot to make me feel better. But oh my god, kill all the medicine girl, Farrah Rediff. Yo, shout outs to medicine girl. I saw you in the credits. Um, anyway. Uh, um, I do have like one serious uh a thing criticism though of all my sarcasm bullshit um the the only serious thing that i do have to say is that um like final final fantasy 7 has been my favorite game since i played it and was introduced to the final fantasy franchise i was 12 years old i was 12 years old whenever i played ff7 for the very first time and um Ever since then, FF7 has been my favorite game, and I've played through every game now, except for FF11, and 14 I don't count. 14's its own fucking shithole. But 7 has always been my favorite for... I'm 29 now, so that's 17 years of it being my fi favorite Final Fantasy. And I, I, I have to admit that this is my new favorite one. Like, for real. I know. <laughs> Seriously. I have to caught the Sid theme just as I was going to say something. Fuck you. Um Like I have to give it I have to give it to you, OGP and the whole team. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> I was really, like, losing faith in the Final Fantasy franchise. I think a lot of people felt the same way. I was really losing faith in the franchise, but... <laughs> I'm glad that this game exists. <laughs> 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 I literally never thought I would live to see a day where I thought there was a better game than FF7. <laughs> Just in the Final Fantasy franchise. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really happy that I can, like, sit here and say that FF16 is, like, my new favorite Final Fantasy game, because it absolutely is. There is no way. This experience is, is one that I will remember forever, without a doubt. And that makes me so happy. Uh. Oof. The only criticism that I have is that, um, Ultima, Ultima is like fine as a villain, but definitely like not my favorite. Like my favorite, my favorite two villains in the entire Final Fantasy franchise 
Ar Arden is still my favorite one. Arden is a, it, Arden is still a fantastic villain. So if I had any points to give off to this game, it's just in the villain, and that's it. And it's not to say that, um, and it's not to say that Ultima was bad. Um, it I don't think you could write a better villain for this game with the story context. I I don't think so. Um, so. I th like Arden is my favorite villain in the fr in the Final Fantasy franchise. Like 15 did a great job with him. But um and Sephiroth is another really really fantastically written villain. But yeah, there was at least I I, I do appreciate at the very end that Ultima had something behind him. They at least they at least gave more there. So I really really do appreciate that. But um, that's, that's the only thing, is that, like, 15 definitely has my favorite villain. Just, again, like, Arden is beautifully written. I think he's a fantastic villain. But, um, yeah. Ultima's, Ultima's still a good villain. I thought for a second that, like, the, when the whole Barnabas thing happened, in the ocean, that specific one, th that specific Odin encounter, I was kind of questioning whether I would appreciate the villains of this game at that point. Like I, um, but uh, but then I kind of had to, oh, I kind of had to had to like let it cook after that, and then I grew more appreciation. But yeah, Ultima is not a bad villain per se and neither is Odin I wouldn't say but not my favorite but the story overall and the characters and the world building this game really fucking nailed every bit of that like the fact that I can cry over the NPCs of this goddamn game I can cry over Gav and Karen and, and Goots and Otto and Vivian and Tarja, like all those NPCs that seemingly don't matter and the fact that I fucking care so much about them is so good. So fucking good. And like the Dame and Martha and, and Quentin, like everybody, so fucking amazing. It's like that, that overall, that overall structure is a goddamn impressive. I, I I'm just so thankful that this game exists, man. Uh. All right, I think I finally have stopped crying. Um, Mill, if I didn't thank you already, thank you for the six month, uh, six month sub. I appreciate it. Crafter, thank you for gifting a sub out to the community as well. I think that's everything. Um, but yeah. Um. This game is amazing. I can't believe I'm like sitting here through the actual like all the credits. I could have fast forwarded this whole time. Anyway, so fast forward. Um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> this is such a special experience. Finally, oh, finally end game. Uh, post credit scene. So Dion, this scene is going to be Dion living happily ever after. He's totally alive and fine. Right? With the medicine girl. And Clive is fine. Every Everybody's alive and fine and beautiful. Joshua's going to be in this room right now. The flames of rebirth worked. Everybody's happy. That's, that's totally this ending. Yes, mother. Mother. Mother! Come on. If only I had the flames for an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry! Right. Look at the pupper. Right, let's 
play the saint in the second play. No, I don't want to be Madeline. <laughs> what do you want to play then? War of the Final Fantasy, Fantasy Joshua Rosfield. Right. You yeah, piece of shit. Why? Right. I'm an older brother. But the hermit says so. What? Don't you dare say where one journey ends, another begins. Don't you dare. Hold up. I never read this. Fuck. I never read my level letter from fucking Dion. <sighs> you know, he never said my name one goddamn time. You insisted I call you Dion, but you can't call me Clive. You piece of shit. It's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. <laughs> it really would have killed you to call me Clive once, huh? I'm fine. Let's try this again. Courage, be freed. I hate you. Time is nigh. I swear to God, you call me a freak one more goddamn time, you son of a fucking bitch prick. I hate you so much. And you! Brother, I put father's helm in your chambers. He should be with you when his vision is finally realized. Thank you, Joshua. For everything. Ah, don't mention it. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. I'm gonna release you guys from emote only. Um, I need you to say, um, <laughs> I'm a 
afraid to ask the goddamn question. Because I can't cry anymore. Wait. I can't. Uh, let me see something first. Oh shit. What will it be today? What is it that you wish to learn? Uh, so the way that I read this is that, well, mm, I don't know, the book, the book, the Final Fantasy book that's written by Joshua, to me that doesn't tell me that he necessarily lives, like he could have wrote that beforehand. Like my first impression to reading that was that he wrote it beforehand, like their whole journey. So that doesn't tell me. But... <sighs> For you to imagine? I mean... Huh. <sighs> <sighs> I don't think so. So I'm guessing that this is left open for interpretation. I don't think he's alive. I, th I don't think that means like one plus one does not equal two, doesn't equal three. Like it just, I don't think so. Yeah, I, uh, I think he's dead. That's just me. But, like, it depends on what we define as, like, the power of the phoenix, right? Because, like, the phoenix is, mo uh, like, supposed to represent, like, rebirth. What we, like, we thought Joshua died at the beginning of the game, and... Boom, he's alive. You know, like, I... He could... He could. But I don't understand the... the I don't think... I don't, I, don't, I don't think that applies after he gives himself fully to Clive, though. I don't think so. I think he's dead. Uh, but the question I've been afraid to ask is, is about Dion. Oh, I should get off stream. <laughs> I 
I should, I should, I should really go. I just want to stop crying, and I haven't been able to stop for like an hour. Thank you for streaming this game. I enjoyed following through. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you, Odysseus, for the two months, and Mizzy for the six months. Okay, so, uh, here's the plan. <sighs> Fuck this game. Um. <sighs> well, first, drinks help. The tomes has extra lore. The state of the realm. Wait, tomes has extra lore. Um. Uh, as far. Oh, I'm not okay. Um. I think it would be cool to have DLC on Leviathan: The Lost. Uh, that would be quite cool to have. Good morrow to you, I would friend. be willing to learn. Ask about Dion. I well recall. He truly believed. I can't. We'll take I can't read this. I can't. Anyway, ah. entries, if you would like to see them. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer. Shit. Fuck. I'm trying to get over this shit. <sighs> you want a good ending? Good ending, happy endings don't exist. That ending was great. No, it was ass. It was complete shit. the shelves shall ever be open anyway i i need to go Fuck. um aside from my sarcasm um i thank you guys so much for watching the playthrough i i really do appreciate it huh i don't know there was something just so magical and special about streaming this game so thank you for watching and being here i really appreciate it and thank you for all the support too the crazy ass support today <sighs> trying not to cry um uh the plan is um since this game has me in a chokehold right now I'm very inspired to um, play FF14, so tomorrow I'm going to do an FF14 stream and uh, go through 6.4 patch. I haven't done the MSQ yet for 6.4, and that includes the raid series as well. So tomorrow is a Final Fantasy 14 stream, if you would like to join in that. I'll probably do the normal raids, the new normal raids with viewers, because I haven't even done that yet. Um, yeah, I need to do 6.4. So... Uh, 
so yeah okay 6.4 tomorrow and then uh, today's thursday right i kind of lost track of days okay 6.4 is today uh tomorrow friday and then on monday we're gonna start ghost trick so ghost trick starting monday and then after we're done playing ghost trick we're gonna play uh rain code so that's the plan for the, like the next two games after that it's a little bit up in the air i don't know what i'm gonna do i just need to play games that don't make me cry this hard i need a break Ugh. but again thank you guys so much for the stream i really do appreciate it um there's a part of me that wants to play FF14 right now to cope. <laughs> Is that stupid? <laughs> we just we just switched to FF14 right now just to fucking cope. <laughs> oh, I am a hot mess. It's the only thing that you can play since finishing. It me, man, it me. Yoshi P's plan was a success. He knew all along that this would get people to play more FF14. He knew. I am just the definition of not okay. No, I'm not going to do 6.4 right now. What I kind of like doing in FF14 is Mentor Roulette. I like spamming Mentor Roulette just to help new players. I don't know, it gives me- it fills the void in my heart. <laughs> if you guys don't mind... I would like to play FF14 and just do like one or two mentor roulettes. Is that okay? Because I am just so not okay and I would like to be okay. So let's go help out some little sprouts in FF14 to make my life feel better. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna switch. Huh. Mentor roulette can be rough. But I, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely do, anno do enjoy it. It can- it has its moments. What wine is that? I honestly don't know what the hell I'm drinking. All I know is that it's good. Um, it's a local wine. To Ontario. Uh, I think I got it from like a local farmer. I have no idea where it's from. I don't know what it is I'm drinking, but... It's good. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, I hate doing Rathalos so much. I think it's m one of my least favorite things to get in Mentor Roulette is Rathalos Extreme. Uh. It kills my very soul. If Raid Extreme isn't that bad in Party Finder, I don't know. I think the worst, like, a Realm Reborn Extreme that you can get, in my experience, is Garuda. Just because the sisters fuck you up. I can't get... It's so hard to get tanks to actually do the job right in Garuda Extreme. Oh, man. <sighs> I just wish I was okay. <laughs> oh. Hold up. Uh, remove extreme... Yeah, I guess it is up to the tanks to grab the orbs and stuff. I don't know. Because I usually tank the extreme, I usually handle remove myself. 
Wait, I can't do... Oh, fuck. I can't do Mentor Roulette because I haven't done 6.4. Ah! <laughs> I got locked out. I haven't done 6.4. You piece of shit. I can't... I can't do it. I'm not gonna- no, we're doing 6.4 tomorrow, bro, okay? I can't even do expert roulette! <sighs> I just want to run content. You know what? Let's see what's in Party Finder right now. I'll just snipe somebody's party. Seven w times to finish my white mage weapon. Please come help me. This guy wants some help. <laughs> no. There's nobody in Party Finders yet. I can't even do high duty because I haven't done the raid series yet. Oh God, this is so weird. I think I have the Hades mount. Hold up. Uh, do I... Let me check, let me check. I have Ruby. Okay, I do have the Hades mount. Okay, so fuck that one. No, never mind. I'm practically a sprout yourself. I haven't had I haven't had the pleasure of playing this game in a hot minute. Alright, tell you what. I'm going to do an alliance raid right now. I'm going to do an alliance raid. If anybody in the chat would like to join, I will open up Party Finder for viewers right now. I'm on Primal Data Center, by the way. So if you would like to um, join in doing an alliance raid, you are more than welcome to. The password will be 9999. For those of you that are on Primal and would like to do this. I also have to finish some side quests. Uh, I don't think I've done the Tartaru, Tartaru quest line yet. I'm a little bit behind. I'm sorry. I'm really slacking in this game. Also, my audio was completely off. I'm slacking there too. There we go. You don't have FF14. Well, you should be playing it. Oh. I know, I do want to do the Tartaru quest line. I also have not finished uh, Hildebrand as well. So if we head on over to Radzat Han, I, shall, I still haven't done that as well. Alright, I'm going to finish my wine and that's it. I desperately needed that wine today. No active sub. Oh my god. So yeah, I think I'm on 6.35 for Hildebrand questline. So tomorrow I'll do 6.4 MSQ, depending on how long it takes. It just depends on how long 6.4 takes. I might do Hildebrand as well because I'm behind in that. I'm behind in so much. Oh my god. Are you ready for FanFest? <laughs> no. I am absolutely not. They say they need DPS, so I'm just gonna go for DPS here. It's been a hot minute. Oh, I agree. I have, um, I play FF14 through Steam and I do not recommend it for anybody else. I don't recommend that other people play FF14 on Steam. A lot less issues if you play just directly through Square Enix. For sure.
like I have come across uh, like I've been playing this game for five and a half years now I'm coming up on six years actually in September some two months away almost six years of playing this game now and uh, I've come across like two specific issues with Steam one was because there was like a big Steam mess where it was down and nobody could play Steam games I think this was like a year ago and because Steam was down I wasn't able to play 14 and that made me sad. Payments are weird. And then whenever you uh, buy the next expansion, whenever you buy the next expansion and then you input the code in your Steam profile, it's a lot more steps and a lot, it's like very weird to do so. I really have to pee, but I don't want to miss my cue. I don't think I'm going to miss my cue. I'm going to go pee real quick. I'm a fucking mess. I'm muted. Did you know that the free trial for FF14 is, uh, goes up to the world famous uh, Heaven's Ward uh, expansion? That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of free content that you have that you should totally, uh, yeah. Free content. levels and two expansions i i'm just saying that that is a crazy deal critically acclaimed final fantasy 14 that has a lot of free content that you yes you could play Man, you'd be uh, you'd be missing out. Hey, finally, 
This is probably the only thing I'll do today, and then I'll be done here, but I just need to cope. This is how I'm gonna cope right now. <sighs> oh, this is where I'm- I haven't streamed FF14 in a long time. I'm supposed to, like, cover... I'm supposed to cover, right? This is, like, the courteous thing to do. Okay, there we go. Yay! You guys get current raid content! I'll turn up the music to max just for you guys. We're all going on an adventure! It's actually really rare for me to do this as a Dragoon. I normally do this as like a red mage to help out with resing people. Because I always feel like there needs to be a lot of raises in these raids. So normally I'm like the helper type of person, but I'm just being totally selfish right now and I'm just going full Dragoon. I'm not coping or anything. Dion Glam? No. I don't need a reminder of pain. Thank you very much. You the of the land. Wow, rude. Just take the hit. Just take the hit and piss off the healers. Normally I'm a healer in this game, actually. Bro, way too soon. What the ass? Are you kidding me? We just finished Final Fantasy 16 and you all are just already throwing punches. All right, I see. Because y'all think it's so cool, huh? It's how I deal with pain. I mean, that's fair. That's how I deal with pain, too. Just make some really bad jokes and everything's gonna be okay. Oops, I should have saved that. Wait, what the hell? Where did my combo go? Mine is the breath of the earth. Oops. through a punch at Ultima. Okay. Did I tell you guys that yesterday I was playing um, FF14 with my brother because he's he's going through the main story. So he just got, he just finished Elpis yesterday. Like literally just got through the last cutscene of Elpis. And uh, wait, so I have a back. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> it just added to my pain too, which really didn't fucking help. <laughs> I'm dead. I don't respect mechanics, but yeah. I, it just really didn't 
help the pain that I was feeling. The last cutscene of Elpis was like Banal walking and you just see like the, the flashbacks with and the camera angles with you and her and then Emmett. Oh god. With like the answer blaring in the background. Holy shit, it's so good. I need to fill up my water and I don't know if now's a Yeah, now's a good time to do it. They got a while. guy what the fuck Dion's not dead we didn't see a body ergo not dead is there still a weekly loot roll for this stuff can I greet on everything <laughs> it's unlocked okay I figured it would be unlocked by now. <sighs> no more weekly lock. Hell yeah, buddy. We love that. Wait, what the hell? I clearly don't know how to play this game anymore. Patch MSQ hasn't been that good. Yeah, no, I agree. I haven't been too crazy about the MSQ right now. And I, I mean, I do love Zero. I don't know where they're going to go with Zero as a character. She's not bad by any means, but I, I, I have to admit that it is very hard to live up to what Shadowbringers and Endwalker brought to the table in terms of the story for this game. That's, uh, that's a lot to try to, um, recover from. I don't know how they're gonna live up to that. I think you gotta clean break it. Eh, that's a good point. They just need to rewrite. Not, not rewrite, but... See, my personal wish with the future of Final Fantasy XIV... You know how there was, um... A period of time... In the MSQ in Elpis... With Meteon. And she said... She was, like, going through all of the reports... She was going through all of the reports of different stars and different lives. Now, she said that everyone was dead, but I would kind of like to venture out outside of Aetheris and the 14 shards. I know that there is still a lot to venture around the 14 shards, but there's a part of me that wants to go to distant stars, too. <laughs> Forgive me. But I couldn't stay away. <laughs> hmm. It seems my sister shall be joining us. It's it's only Maybe someday? Yeah, I think someday. Bing, bing, bing. And Walker set up a good ending. It just... Not only that, but... Not even just, like, a good ending in general, but... I don't know how to put it. Just... It, it had a lot of closure from the last... How many years? Ten years of Final Fantasy XIV story? 
It's hard to imagine for me where it's gonna go from here. The sands of time are mine to come up. Oh no, it has amazing story. Like 14 probably has the best story out of all Final Fantasy. That's why it's so hard. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh fuck, I fucked up. You know what? You know what is super satisfying when you get somebody into Final Fantasy 14 and you just see them get super hooked into the story. So like, I'm having that satisfaction with my brother right now. He was he enjoyed the story all through like Shadowbringers and everything. Like he's been enjoying the ride, but he got to Endwalker and he got to Elpis, and his mind was genuinely blown. He's like, I'm just gonna take my time. For the very first time, my brother took his time in the MSQ. My brother has never done that in this game. Oh, what? My positionals are all backwards. You're in that boat now, starting having Zord today. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying it. Heaven's Ward is what really got me hooked into Final Fantasy XIV. I loved Heaven's Ward so much. And even more so, I very much enjoyed Emmerich. If that wasn't obvious at my taste, because yeah. Um, yeah, I love, I love Emmerich. <laughs> To this day, he's still my favorite character, even though he barely does anything anymore, which makes me so sad. The horny expansion! I love that description. Ah, oh, yes, Heaven's Word. The horniest of expansions. side of them. Oh wait! We still have to kill the other one! Oops. I forgot. Upon the most exalted of battlefields you shall stand. I'm really glad to hear that you're enjoying uh FF14 so far. That's honestly really awesome. <laughs> That makes me super happy to hear. When people play FF14 and just really get into the story, it's genuinely amazing, especially for MMO. It is some very, very incredible stuff. And just for the record, I squealed at this part. in the raid whenever I did this for the first time. Holy shit. Because I have, since Heaven's Ward, I've been a huge fan of Helone. So just getting to fight Helone after this, oh! That was the best. And that day I'll be very happy. The thing that I like about 14 is how much trust I have in the team. I don't get that with like any other game that I play with any other like dev team. I have so much trust in 14. Like they are very in tune with the community. 
they know what we want and they listen very well to the community and i think that is like one of the most beautiful things so i know and i have full faith in the team to give me the things that i want out of this game it, i the the faith that i have is unending test your strength of spirit Rain of Spears. All piercing spear drink deep of raging lizards. <clears throat> Alright, I have to slightly pay attention to mechanics. I know it's very it's a travesty, honestly. For glory, you must be prepared to render your all. Favorite Dragoon weapon, Glam. Um, it's a toss-up. I really like the Uwu weapon a lot. Oops. Um, so Uwu Glam is really good. Oh my god, what am I doing with my rotation? Fuck off. What in the hell? Um, but <laughs> as like a meme weapon, I really like the, fo the Faust Lance that you get from the Golden Saucer. You must do better than that against me. And people are nice. Generally, yes, this like FF14 is the nicest community I've ever witnessed in my life. There's just, um, and I think that's a reflection on the dev team, honestly. Because people don't, don't just give respect to a game blindly, like, it's earned by the, the team itself. Um, it's usually a direct reflection. The communities of games are a direct reflection of the, of the, of the team that created the game. Probably going down here. I can second win myself in a second. There we go. A 14 carrying square on its back making me proud <laughs> to be a part of the community. Honestly, I am as well. I'm very happy to be a part of the 14 community. In ice unyielding, now rest. Mine is the easy. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can finally, after this stream, just dwell into FF16 fanfiction. I think that's where my life will be restored. Wait, did I just do that? Oh my god, I was wrong. The, I, I just did battle litany. What am I doing? Oh, would that our clash could continue forever. Holy shit. As soon as I get off stream, I am indulging myself in some Final Fantasy 16 fan fiction, baby. And the fan art, please, please, I am begging you. If you guys have any fan fart, fan fart, fan art, and you see any fan art, please. I am begging you to put it in my Discord. I have a Final Fantasy 
section in my Discord. Just, just put it there. Yes! Lose yourself in the joy of battle! I am, I am kindly asking. Uh, you know what I also have is a Final Fantasy, uh, uh, not Final Fantasy. I have a fanfic recommendation. That you guys could uh, take part in. Fanfic recommendations. There's a full, there's a text channel in my Discord for that. And there is also, oops. I'm trying to be in melee range, but it's just not working. Okay. But anyway, so yes, uh, there's a fanfic recommendations and a Final Fantasy channel in my Discord. Please, uh, if you have any art to share, I am begging you. I am. I can get on my hands Your and knees right now. I'm begging <laughs> to put them in there. Because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump right over to AO3. I have a lot of work to do, and I actually planned a list of things to get done today. But honestly, with my emotional state, I don't know if I'm gonna get there. <laughs> I'm probably not. Got so much to do right now. You only have not suitable for work art? I wanna see it! <laughs> But my Discord, no! I can't put it in my Discord! Shit! What do I do? Uh, hi, musical! Welcome! Oh, wait, you're the songbirds, right? Sorry, that only just now clicked in my brain. I'm in a... I'm in a state tonight. Also, this music is fucking amazing. Oh, jeez. I thought it went off already. That takes forever. Jesus. Oh, I'm griefing my healers. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you for giving shout outs. Must much deserve. I'll tweet you a link. Hey, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks. What a homie. I want melee range. Oh, you piece of shit. Has anyone snitch on me to crystal? Wait, snitched? What do you mean? Did I miss something? The tank's going this way. I go with the tank. I missed something. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I just... My burst window! I forgot how this raid worked. It, it's been a hot minute. Has she? so confused. Alan, what did you do? What did you say? Do I need to like go through? I can go through the chat logs. Do you want me to go through the chat logs? 
Oh shit. Oh, I haven't even mentioned LunarCon. Holy shit, thank you. Hi guys, I run LunarCon with my friends. <laughs> it's so hard for me to mention because like I don't stream FF14 like ever. Anymore. I used to be a full-time Final Fantasy XIV broadcaster, but I no longer do. I'm a variety broadcaster now. But I used to do it. But yeah, if you guys want to do a really cool thing, there's this beautiful thing called LunarCon. And y'all can, can go to that. Me and my friends, we work really hard on it. I'm in the way. It's okay, I have second wind and bloodbath, it's okay. What an announcement. I mean, I've been doing LunarCon for three years now. <laughs> I helped found it <laughs> and get it started. I've been doing it for a while. I just, I'm just very bad at announcing it because it's not like FF14 isn't my content anymore. But the main reason why I stick around is because like I, I love doing LunarCon because it keeps me involved in the FF14 community because I, it's something I genuinely love so much. FF14 is like such a special ass game. So even though I don't stream it, oh god, my bad. Even though I don't stream it, it's my way of like staying involved in the community. Have a good one, Justin! <laughs> I still want to know what's going on with fucking Alan. Please. Let's go. I haven't done that in a long time. So, okay, tomorrow I'm going to head off stream. That was like much needed. Wow, I just rolled a one on the wind up Polone. That's that makes me feel really good. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have any of those. I don't have any of the orchestrian rolls. I need them all. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to head off. Tomorrow will be a 6.4 MSQ stream for those that want to see. I haven't experienced it yet. And also, after we finish 6.4 MSQ, I would like to go through the normal raid series story because I haven't finished that either. And I'm gonna be honest, I had to rush through five through eight. That would be 6.2. I had to rush through 6.2 raid series. I didn't get to read it, so I'll go on my alt to read that story and then go on my main to finish 9 through 12. <laughs> That'll be the plan. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the lovely stream. I very much appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and uh, I'm gonna hopefully get off and not cry my eyes out over today. 